Om Jai Jai Sai Ma. Om Jai Jai Sai Ma. Welcome to chanting with Her Holiness Sai Ma Lakshmi Devi Mishra. My name is Lucinda Hanover, and I've been a student of Sai Ma since 2005. And I'm here to welcome you with open arms. Welcome those of you who have studied with Ma for a very long time. And welcome to those of you who are here for the first time with us to mm -hmm. chant with Saima. Now today, it's we have a special chanting day. Ma's been doing these about every month. And today happens to be the beginning of our celebration for Saima's birthday, which is officially on August 2nd. And this is so auspicious. And we have such a blessing today to be with Her Holiness Sai Ma on her birthday. Why is this? Well, Ma tirelessly works for humanity, works for each of us. And around the birthday, there's an enormous amount of illumined energy that comes to us um, as a gift from an enlightened master on their birthday so that we together mm -hmm. will be chanting and receiving this enormous um, downpouring of energy and also this upliftment of celebration of the mm -hmm. guru's birth. Now, let me say a few words about her holding a Sai Ma if for this people who are here for the first time. Um, you may know from the website, there's an, a whole lot of information on the website and a lot of talks, a lot of things that you can learn from the website. But briefly, Ma is honored as the living saint and the first female Maha Jagat Guru in more than 2,700 years of the Vishnu Swami lineage in India. And if you've been with Ma, there's a fierce love, compassion, high intellect that Ma brings to each and every interaction that brings this enormous amount of personal transformation and transformation for humanity itself. I say Ma is a guru for these times, these very times we are in. The word guru means bringing lightness to darkness. And Ma is a guru for these times. So today, we celebrate the birthday of an enlightened master. What are we celebrating when we're celebrating? We're celebrating, yes, the physical birth of Saima. And I love to celebrate that I took incarnation at the same time as Saima and have the opportunity to be working with Ma this lifetime and maybe many lifetimes before, but specifically speaking about this one. Also, we celebrate the birth of our relationship with Saima. You know, on a pedestrian level, I watch the Olympics and I see these coaches that are so intent of having these athletes be all they could be, be the best they could be at their sport. So let's move to the domain of spirituality, of enlightenment. And I think of Ma as the person, the human in human form, I say a God in human form, that is there 100% for me in my spiritual path. And what a blessing. So we celebrate the physical birth, we celebrate our relationship with Ma, and we celebrate our own spiritual awakening. So remember this as we're chanting, and I invite you to get lost in the chants. There were so many beautiful slides as we were coming on board talking about chanting and the gift of chanting. And when we're chanting, we're chanting the name of God. We're chanting to ourselves in the chant. That's why it feels so good to chant. So now that we're online, you can let all cares to the side and chant to your heart's desire. Um, and then, as I said today, there's going to be a very special um, 
birthday offering for Ma. We're going to hear from Jacques Rousseau singing in English, French, and then Kyoto is going to uh, sing to Ma in Japanese. Happy birthday as Ma enters. Then from there, what got added to the chant, which is our special blessing, is Ma's discourse, Ma's birthday discourse, and uh, which um, is fantastic, a, a conscious evolution. That's the name of Ma's discourse today for about 15 minutes or so. Then we'll move right into chanting and taking us to a higher frequency, bringing this frequency into our very homes, into our families, into um, all around in the energy field that we carry. And um, I am so happy that each one of you joined today. I call it kismet. You know, kismet is a Yiddish term for meant to be, meant to be. We were meant to be together on this day, meant to be celebrating today. And um, mm -hmm. let's see if Saima is ready to join us. Okay, let's play some music. Thank you all for joining us. Om JJ Saima. I honor the divine feminine in you and in me. Om JJ Saima. Om JJ Saima. Om JJ Saima. What a great, great honor to be all together today to celebrate the anniversary of our beloved Saima. I'm present to how much Ma has given to me and to everyone of this community and how much Ma gives every day and every second of her existence. Today, the anniversary is such a great day to give back and to offer generously our full hearts. So let's sing together, happy birthday. And we will start by the English version and we'll sing it twice. So we'll just really tap into the, our togetherness and the abundance of our hearts. For you, Ma. Happy birthday, dear Ma. Happy birthday, dear Ma. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, dear Ma. Happy birthday, dear Ma. Happy birthday, dear Ma. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear Ma. And I will continue with the French version that I know Ma appreciates a lot. Ma très chère Ma, c'est votre tour de vous laisser parler d'amour. Ma très chère Ma, c'est votre tour de vous laisser parler d'amour. Ma très chère Ma, c'est votre tour de vous laisser parler d'amour. Ma très chère Ma, c'est votre tour de vous laisser parler d'amour. Om JJ Saima. Om JJ Saima. Ureshi na kyo wa tanoshi na kyo wa Saima san omedito Tanjobi omedito
Welcome. Welcome in love. Welcome in light. Welcome in potentiality. Welcome in who you are. All of us come to play a role on this planet. We take a round trip ticket, so we come and we leave. Some has taken thousands of birth here. And somehow doesn't understand the importance of evolving consciously. For that, it's awareness. Awareness. If in your lineage, in your philosophy, there is an enlightened being that you admire, stress your energy and communicate with. To experience life fully joyfully, fulfillingly. That place where love permeates everything you do, you think, you feel all the time. And use that love, that grace, that expanded consciousness to give permission to the human you whose identity is most of the time self-created, you can't trust that. Enter a particle of pure consciousness among everything you feel and you see right now. Anyone who see me disappear in light, do not be concerned. I will come back in the body. Experience in you that only you, because you have free will, you have the choice to say no or yes when we come to serve you. If you do not say yes, we cannot come to you to tell you, this is a big piece that's heavy on you. And let me help you to take. We can't even come there because you resist. So today I ask you to open every cell of your body consciously. Speak to your cells. They listen. They create what you ask for. So what do you offer to yourselves right now? To know you as a light. To you know you as an embodiment of love. To know you as the embodiment of consciousness, source. To know you as the great saint that you are. To know you as this being of light that you are. Open yourself so big that there's not room for a single human lower frequency in you. And so open that you're crossing the veil to be on the other side. In oneness consciousness, universal meaning I am you, you are me. Loving every single person that comes to your mind or heart 
without judging at all. Allow you to become that, that bird which opens consciously. Give permission to be open consciously. Welcome the shadow and the light. Same, same here. If you can welcome light at this level, you can also welcome that aspect of you which doesn't have much light. Bring them together, meld them. Do not hide anything from yourself. The time is over when you were a victim. Now we see you with your devotion, with your awareness. You desire to be that quantum you, to be that enlightened you. We see your, your, your devotion, we see your intent, your purity. And the delight, the delight to expand your consciousness at a point that you merge with your soul. You you become consciously aware the shift in you. You are not numb to you. You feel, you taste. And this love that you experience, whatever you do, you pour it into. Whatever you think, you pour it into. Whatever you express, the expression of source as you, love as you pure consciousness as you, humanness as you. So let's welcome everything. All the elements. I have said two times, I am preparing a program for you. For me, the program that will be created for you, birthday energy is in it, Guru Purnima is in it, is to put into practice the three months of teaching you just received. I repeat, put into practice what you receive during these three months. Because it will show me the level of your consciousness. How at peace are you being with you? How at ease are you being with you? And the more at ease you are, the more your portals will be opened. The more your portals are open, the more I can come to you in the fullness of who I am as abundant creation itself. So I'm going to, to welcome you to this program if you choose so. Quite amazing. And I'm delighted to be my embodiment to you at home. It's a, it's a bond I feel with you. Thank you. So let me invite Anantadas to share because he's the one that I've created this program with. Om JJ Saima. Om JJ Saima. And Ma, we've been creating. Ma is 
this generosity Ma has of giving and giving and giving. And in that is the power and the magnificence of Mahalakshmi. Ma is making available to us the ability to activate Mahalakshmi and each of us through mantra initiation. Last month, I had the blessings of receiving this initiation from Ma. And I describe this initiation, there's life before initiation and there's life after. And the life after is one of bliss, beyond bliss, and this desire from within to give, give, and give. And I would speak to people and I would say, and I love you. And it didn't come from the mind. It just came from within. Should, should I share the, the, the program, my ma? Or does my ma wish to, to, to speak? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, okay, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> So starting one month from now, September 1st, for three months, Ma is offering us the opportunity to receive the mantra initiation of Mahalakshmi, which I will be offering on behalf of Ma. And then- From Kashi. From Kashi, from our ashram. And then the next day, uh, Mahalakshmi Yagya, and each one of us can participate, receive this mantra initiation, participate in the Maha Lakshmi Yagya, and the Ma said, put into practice. We can put mm -hmm. into practice this mm -hmm. activated mantra. Every day, every moment, you'll have this mantra in your being to activate again and again and again. Can we share the slide? For a moment. Yes. And my um, registration is, is open now on the website. Yes, with me. <laughs> with it's me a, and you, with you and me, with us. <laughs> it's been a gorgeous creation and it's a, a gorgeous page that embodies, that represents this, this divine. Oh, beauty. So there's the initiation. You'll have an opportunity to receive, participate in a yagya, a fire ceremony from Kashi, and you'll have with you your mantra. And it will also be activated in a mala. And if you are thinking of, of participating, I not only encourage, I suggest you register now because there are steps to do to prepare for your initiation, steps for preparing your surroundings, also offerings to prepare and we look i look forward to being able to to offer and share this with all of you beautify your place as much as possible yeah. Yeah. i have watched you transform every day during the beginning of this program from mm -hmm. this moment when i brought that to you I may have called you in the middle of the night as usual. <laughs> <laughs> and you have transformed physically. I see the, the depth of your being being physical at the same time. That's what nourished me. That's what nurtured me. When you start loving everybody, welcoming everybody as yourself, supporting everyone, serve everyone. That's my joy. Love everybody. It doesn't matter what they were, who they were, love them. They're screaming, love me, love me. Enjoy. Happy birthday, my ma from the ashram. Thank you, my love. Thank you. I 
Yes. I would like to speak a little bit about Matakali. The closest you would know who is with Matakali has the, the energy of Matakali will be Isis, will be Sekhmet, the Sphinx, and in more modern time will be Mary Magdalene. Every tool that you see in the hands of Matakali, and Matakali is, a, is also the, the everyday life that we see, everyday life. Everyday life. There's full discernment, total faith in oneself. And putting down the human part that resists. Walk on it. Walk on it with the feet of light. Your, your humanness, your soul, your higher self. And the beauty of Matakali is her heart is so tender. So tender. Madurga the same. They are a mixture of all the goddess. And each of you carry the quality, the energy, the presence of a goddess inside of you. Welcome. And be in it. Become it. And see yourself transform consciously. Consciously. Life. Full of life. Look at the head, the head in the in the hands. What does that mean? My mind. Give to Kalimata your mind. and enter the higher mind in you. Enter your higher mental body. Feel it, go inside of it, live it, breathe it. Expand, love it, welcome that new you. the gift of you to you. Enjoy, let us chant. the mother within you. So I can hear me speak to them. Allowing life force to enter you completely meaning there's no resist resistance towards anything. Welcoming life fully in you. Life as source, fully in you. Be still, eyes closed. Eyes closed. 
enter inside of you, inside of the body. Everything you experience, I mean every single thing, you experience that inside of you by yourself. It has nothing to do with somebody else. It's always about you. Be aware of that. From that place, because you become aware that it's all inside of you, you become also aware to shift your consciousness from a place of maybe denial, uh, anything else, to awareness. And I can change that. Yes, I resist life. Today, I realize there's no reason for me to resist life. Life is magnificent, abundant, full. Today, I open myself to life and celebrate my openness, celebrate my awareness, celebrate what I've become aware of. Release completely, cellularly, quantumly. I relax. And allow life in its fullness, in its glory, in its abundance, in its divinity, in its oneness, in its oneness. I merge in that oneness consciously. I evolve by realizing I am all that is. I am in everything and everyone. I allow a meld of all the humanness, all the aspect of the humanness to all the self that I am, the eternity that I am the eternal love that I am, the presence that I am, the source that I am. Satchitananda. Celebration of your birth on planet Earth and receive the blessings of Matagaya Matagaya who loves you, remembers the youth on her lap. Happy birthday to you, enjoy your light, enjoy you as a being of love, as an embodiment of love, as a being of light, as a being of consciousness, as a being of the whole cosmos being of creation, a being of source. Shabbat Shalom. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Om JJ Saima, thank you, beloved Ma. Thank you for this glorious gift during this birthday time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please stay for about five minutes. I have an important message from Ma and also a gift. Now, the important message from Ma, it's 
it's hard to do a logistical thing in the midst of this incredible energy that we can tap into throughout the birthday time. <sighs> Thank you. Well, the message from Ma is about the global unity gathering. We've been looking at, actually Ma, Ma sent a message this morning saying that Ma's been thinking of us and especially the global community where we know travel restrictions due to COVID are getting stricter. And in the US, uh, the situation is getting worse and that Ma does not wanna do a program where the whole global community doesn't feel comfortable in coming and is also restricted with quarantines when they get back that would be over the holidays and so on. So this morning, Travini and I did a call with all of those registered in our global unity gathering in December and made the announcement that instead of a hybrid version of some in person and some online, it will be 100% online so that the entire global community can participate in the global unity gathering. And you should all know we have double the number that we had even last year to participate and it's only August. So um, we invite you to join us online. We're 100% focused on an absolutely transformational experience of you as soul and igniting your profound life, bringing soul to every single aspect of your life and being together as a global community. Now we've been doing things online and one of the great things is today we see how the energy is, the energy doesn't have any bounds and it moves through. So we'll be able to bring this fantastic energy into our homes. It's December 16th through the 19th and we'll put it in the chat how to do it, how to register if you're not. Now here is the gift for you, the birthday gift, a hundred dollar certificate uh, in registering for the Global Unity Gathering for those who are still considering uh, doing that. It's the code birthday. So now that you know it's gonna be online, there may be others that you wish to gift that to as well. So we um, hope to see you there. Um, would you please put how to participate in the Yagya for Ma's birthday as a gift to Ma? For those of you who still like to do that, it's still available. And enjoy the birthday celebrations in your community. Enjoy the birthday celebrations that we'll be hearing from the ashram all day tomorrow. It is absolutely gorgeous. I just got some pictures in, so we'll be able to participate in that together tomorrow as well. And I invite you to take some moments for you with you in your own spiritual birthing and give gratitude to that. Give, take some moments with you. I love you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Jacques. Thank you, Kyoto, for those beautiful birthday songs at the beginning. And thank you, beloved Ma, for yet again, continuing to bring us into a transcendent state and into our awareness of ourselves as enlightened beings, gifted beings, Christed beings, the Buddha within. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Om J.J. Simon.